This is review lesson 16. We are going to be ordering fractions. So putting them in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. So what you have to do is you have to create a common denominator for all fractions and then order the fractions based on which numerator is greater. So first, we need to make a common denominator for every single one of these fractions. Okay? So we have three. Let's start writing some multiples. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Okay, now let's do um, multiples of 6. I'll change colors. So we'll do 6, 12, 18, um, 6 times 24, um, 30, 36. Um, 42. Okay? And then we'll do 7. Switch colors again. 7, 14, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 40, 41, 42. And then 3 14s. So we'll have 14, 28, um, 14 times 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 3, 4, 42. Okay, so it looks like 42 is going to be the number we're going to have to use. So I'm going to need to keep on going with my 3's. So 33, 35, 38, 30, 33, this should be 36, sorry. 36, this will be 39, and then 42. So I now need to convert all of these so that they have a denominator of 42, because that's what's common between all of these numbers. So 1 third is equal to something 40 seconds. 1 6 is equal to something 40 seconds. Um, I'm going to erase this because I don't need it anymore. Two sevenths is equal to something 40 seconds. And three fourteenths is equal to something 40 seconds. So when we multiplied, I remembered that I multiplied 14 times 3 to get 42. So 3 times 3 is 9. 7 times 6 is 42. So 2 times 6 is equal to 12. 6 times 7 is 42, and 1 times 7 is equal to 7. Now, I don't know what um, 3 times 42 is off the top of my head, so I'm going to divide to see what is the other factor there, okay? So how many 3's are in 4? 1, multiply, subtract, bring down. How many 3's are in 12? 4, multiply, subtract, and I have a remainder of 0. So 3 times 14 will give me 42. So 1 times 14 is 14. Now I can put these fractions in order. Okay? My largest fraction is, um, it says from least to greatest, so actually I need to go to my smallest fraction. My smallest fraction is 1 6 because that's equal to 7 40 seconds. So we've got 1 6 is first because it's equal to 7 40 seconds, so I use that when I'm done with it. Um, 9 40 seconds would be next, which is 3 14 Okay. Next we have 12 40 seconds, so that would be the equivalent fraction to 2 7 so I use that one. And last we have 1 3rd is my greatest amount, which was equal to 14 40 seconds. Let's do another one together. So we've got fifths, eighths, fifths, and fourths. So again, I need to first find common denominators. The way you do that is first write the multiples and then make equivalent fractions. So let's get started. We've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, 8 would be 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Okay, I see one comment, so I'm going to stop there. I did 5, so I don't need to do it again. 
So four, I'm going to do four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So it looks like we're going to have to use 40 on all of these. So now let's convert. 2 fifths is equal to something 40ths. 5 eighths is equal to something 40ths. 1 fifth will be equal to something 40ths. And 3 fourths will be equal to something 40ths. All right? Now let's find out what our numerators will be. So 5 times 8 is 40. 2 times 8 is 16. 8 times 5 is 40. So 5 times 5 is 25. 4 times 10 is 40. 3 times 10 is 30. 5 times 8 is 40. So 1 times 8 is 8. All right? Now we can put these in order, and it says from least to greatest. So let's look at my smallest numerator because that will be least. So I've got 16, 25, 8, and 30. So 8 is the lowest number. So I've got 1 fifth. All right, the next lowest is 16 40ths, which is equivalent to 2 fifths for my original numbers. So 2 fifths. Then I've got 25 40ths or 5 eighths. And then I have 30 fortieths, which is equivalent to 3 fourths. All right? For homework tonight, I would like you to put these fractions in order from least to greatest. Remember to find a common denominator, convert your fractions, and then put them in order. Thank you so much for your hard work, and I will see you tomorrow.